if if we look at uh, our own change process, so the um, Satir change model was created by Virginia Satir, and she's a, a family psychotherapist. And um, the the different stages that she noticed was there's an old status quo, so your comfort zone, if you want to use that term, and then there's an uh, what is a foreign element that comes in either say for example uh, a new job you know death in the family a pandemic <laughs> so there's different foreign elements that might come in that shakes us out of that comfort zone and then eventually entrusts us in a space of chaos and this space of chaos is really a space of exploration experimentation trying out new things and also wishing to go back to the, the you know old normal so as you probably can see the parallel uh ways in which we've uh, we, we've responded to covid uh, so before covid we had our you know our lives and then covid came in and then we got into a space of chaos where a lot of people are like oh we're just going back to normal but there is no going back to the old status quo um the invitation here is to find different ways in which we can um, integrate and practice new different things so that we get to a new status quo. So this practice and integration is something that uh, you would, you know, you would want to do with other people. This is where community is really very important because there's the accountability. There's the uh, what's this practicing with others that that helps you to be on track so that you can get to a new status quo over time and. This for me is a very simple tool to look at, you know, where are people at in, in their different um, phases. And each phase have also different things that, you know, that, that is uh, important for them. So like, say, for example, during uh, the old status quo, awareness building is very important. You know? So the more that you can provide them the awareness of what, you know, what might be their space of chaos. If they keep on continuing doing this, this might be your space of chaos. So you're giving them already the knowledge and somehow capacity building in terms of uh, what to look out for so that their space of chaos won't be so deep anymore. So you're helping them to prepare or plan for chaos somehow. So awareness building is very important at that specific stage. And then, like I said, when it comes to chaos, it's really a lot of experimentation, exploration. People in chaos, you don't give them programs to, you know, to, to go for a year or six months because they couldn't even figure out what to do for you know, next week. Um, so you would want to address people in chaos with more compassion and also allow them to have spaces where they can explore how they can find acceptance in this you know transition in this new phase in in, in what where where they are at